We're in the middle of filming episode six of the see-through engine on turbo and nitromethane. And I had to use a magnet to pick up some metal out of the oil. And I just happened to look over and I saw the PC that we use for that little video of filming a slow motion video in slow motion. And I remember a scene of a movie that I saw where this guy's like a hacker and somebody comes or the cops come to his door. He grabs a magnet like the one I saw and puts it to his hard drive and erases everything on his hard drive. So it's as simple as that. I wanna try that out and see if it actually works. Yeah, let's jump into it and see what happens. And I'm gonna set the hard drive out over here where we can see it. First thing I wanna do is create a recovery drive. So that way, if the hard drive does get destroyed, we can easily reinstall Windows. Open up the task manager so we can see our CPU usage and memory, and then open up a game. Let's see, oh, Minecraft, there we go. That should eat up some CPU. Oh yeah. Now, first thing I wanna try before trying a full-fledged magnet is I remember one time I was helping my friend, I was working on his computer, his gaming PC, and I had a flashlight like this, and literally this exact flashlight, it has a magnet on the bottom, and I remember I went into his PC with the flashlight and it came close to the hard drive and I was like, oh no, and I pulled it away right away, nothing happened. So this flashlight, yeah, this is the first thing I'm gonna try, but right on the hard drive. The spinning disks are located right here in this hard drive. So I'm gonna try to put the magnet right about here, which is where the surface of the disk is as it's spinning. I have a split screen going. I got one camera on the screen, one camera on the hard drive. Here goes the first magnet on the flashlight and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, the magnet's on the hard drive and it looks like it's working normally. Interesting. Okay, so the magnet is on the hard drive. As you can see, right on the hard drive. And if you look at Minecraft, I mean, it's still, it's still working. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the next strongest magnet, which is this blue one. This is about a 20 pound magnet. And uh, let's give it a try, see what happens. Here's my second magnet, which is the 20 pound rare earth magnet. The magnet is on the hard drive and I can see there's some disk usage here. I'm gonna go into, I don't know, some folders or something. I mean, uh, the disk is obviously working. Yeah, I mean, it's accessing the disk. I can feel the hard drive working. I don't know, let's go with the uh, next strongest magnet. Next is the strongest magnet that I have here and it's this 40 pound, uh, yeah, this 40 pound magnet. We're gonna run Minecraft, resume the game, put the magnet on the hard drive, see what happens. Here goes the, uh, the high power magnet. I think I just saw the disc go to zero. No, it's still reading. Wait a second, I think it's doing something. It says 100% disc usage now. I think something happened. Minecraft is not responding. Right here, I'm trying to click on the icons right here. Look at this, check this out. Nada, nothing. I'm gonna try to open up browser. I'm gonna try to open up my $50 worth of Ethereum and my Ethereum wallet. Nothing. So it looks like the rare earth magnet didn't do, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, oh look at that, look at that. Look what's happening. Look at all these screens that opened up. Wow, that was weird. As soon as I pulled the, wow, that's super strange. Check that out. Now it's loading all this stuff. <laughs> okay, so something definitely happened to the hard drive. But the PC is still running, and uh, I'm just gonna try to restart it and see what happens. 
And let's see if it turns back on. Okay, well, it looks like the PC started back up. That's, uh, that's kind of interesting. All right, I mean, Windows opened. Yeah, I don't know. That was really weird. That was weird. I mean, let's try to load Minecraft again. Oh, it loaded. Let's see. Matt's world. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's weird. It looks like it's working. I don't know. It's working. After searching around on Google for some time, reading various articles on the subject, it turns out that with the newer hard drives, you need an extremely strong magnet to disrupt the magnetic field and corrupt any data. The explanation behind this is the magnetic domains are much smaller and they're harder to flip by accident. I put a link to that article in the description below if you're interested in reading it. I took the cover off one. I'm gonna try it while the hard drive's spinning. Oh, that's interesting. The platter slowed down almost to a stop. So that must be why. That makes sense. Next thing I want to do is I want to try the magnet on a computer with an SSD, which is a solid state drive. I'm going to open up the back real quick to show you. All right. And this is the solid state drive in this PC. And that's how fast it comes out. Here you can see 256 gigabytes. And this is a crucial SSD. And this is kind of an old one, but all the SSDs are basically the same. So let's put this back in, boot this PC up. I showed you the hard drive. It's located underneath right here. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put the magnet on there. And try to open something up. Well, let's try this one now. Right here. Ready? There it goes. Here, let's try to open up AEM. It's obviously, it's obviously working. In disk usage right there, you see it there? So let's put the magnet right on the hard drive and it's still accessing the disk, no problem. Right there, okay, well, there you go. Looks like nothing happened. I mean, that answered my question. I didn't think anything would happen with this because this is an SSD. But yeah, that's basically the question that I had was if a magnet would destroy a PC or a hard drive in this case, um, and it didn't. And I'm really perplexed as to why the magnet didn't mess up the regular hard disk drive, but it did stop working when I put the magnet on there. And maybe that's because the little arms inside the hard drive were maybe getting attracted by the magnet and getting stuck and not moving, even though they were getting signal to move. But the computer's still working, and I'm by no means telling you to try this on your PC. This was just something that I was curious about, and I wanted to try it and uh, show everybody what I tried. And that was, will a magnet destroy a hard drive or destroy a PC in this case? So, and it didn't. Yeah, draw your own conclusions. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Check out everything else that I got on this channel. And we are working on finishing up Episode 6 of the see-through engine, turbo and nitro methane, it's almost done and the results were pretty, pretty awesome. So that being said, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. See you next time. Adios.